All right, so <clears throat> I'm extremely excited. I received a small bag of peppers from Arianelle, a friend of mine in the PLC Discord. She's very generous. She sent me seeds, now she's sending me peppers. Um, she grew these, I believe, hydroponically. I can't grow any pubescent species. I guess it's just too hot here in Florida. I haven't had any luck. Mine's just kind of stunted right now. <clears throat> but this is going to be my first time trying a pubescent species, and in particular a Rokoto variant. Um, so this is actually called Rokoto Montufar. Um, it's red, pretty large. Uh, hottest thing I've had here in the past few weeks is probably Serrano. Um, you'll see a video on that later, but I'm not going to go into detail on it. Anyway, I'm kind of going in order and trying to keep my tolerance in order. So I've had a jalapeno, Serrano. I'm going to have this, which I assume to be maybe 30 to 100K. And then I'm going to have a habanero and I'm going to, I got some super hots that she also gave me that I'm going to get into as time goes on. Um, but anyway, to stay on topic, this is Rokoto Montufar, all right, capsicum pubescens, and I'm so excited to try it. So I'm going to dig right in. You're going to have to excuse me because I'm definitely going to be getting into the seeds. It's a little soft. I don't know if it's at the end of its uh, prime eating stage or if they're just, they get soft like this. Stem came off pretty easy, so I'm so hyped. Okay, as I'm cutting into it. Can you see? Watch, watch this. See that juice? Bubbles literally coming out of it. Here, let's see if I can let you watch it. Alright, so it's thick walled. It looks a lot like the Rokoto pictures I've seen from other reviews and stuff like that. Black seeds, which is completely normal with a uh, capsicum pubescens, which is ricotta, manzana, all those types of peppers. Um, I'm going to save these because we've got some skin on there. So reminds me of like a bell pepper, I guess. When a pepper gets really thick, the skin will come off. Huh. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to take these seeds out because this is something I would totally love to grow if I can pull it off. I'll probably have to just do it in hydro like she did so I can get the hang of that. i got some stuff growing in hydro, but uh, they're literally just sprouts. I'm saving probably every one of these seeds. All right, so I'm gonna stop, start with the seedless slice. Beyond excited, I'm hoping this is as delicious as I'm imagining. Here we go. So juicy. <laughs> Boy, does that burn. That's like, that's got to be habanero level. My tolerance is pretty low, I will admit. That's straight to the back of the throat. Very unique burn. It tasted like a cucumber to me, you know. Very uh, fruity. I don't know how to explain it. It's fine, I'm glad I got to try one. Ooh, it's hot. I don't know if I can have that second slice. <laughs> it's crazy. How does a pepper taste like a cucumber? Huh. Very thick walls. Extremely juicy. <laughs> it's so hot. Hope I can keep it down. That's hot. I haven't had to burn in a minute, but it's really good. What a week.
weird experience. Hmm. Thick and juicy like that. But somehow they, it has capsaicin that still burns you. It's like a spicy vegetable. Real fruity. If you consider a cucumber sweet, then I'd call it sweet. I wouldn't call it sweet though. It has that refreshing flavor that a cucumber has. I bet this would be so good pickled. I mean, if a, if a cucumber is good pickled, you know, a pickle, then that's got to be delicious pickled. I wouldn't know what to do with that. I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't. Why would you dehydrate that into powder? That's like wasting all that juice and flavor. I would never dehydrate that. I would do something with that, though. Maybe roast it. Definitely. Pickling is like top of the list, especially because it has those notes that I feel are like in the cucumber melon family. Surface of my tongue's burning. It's hot. I mean, mentally though, I've been there, you know, super hot and stuff, so I can handle it. My body though, we're way behind on tolerance. I can, I, I can definitely see a uh, super hot wrecking through me. So I'm gonna have to work back up to that. But that was absolutely delicious. Thank you, Ariano. Um, definitely, I can even though with my tolerance, I, that's at least a hundred thousand, maybe more. Tastes like a habanero, but way juicier. I don't want to say better because they're two completely different flavors. That was really good, and wow, I'm just so thankful. And, and check that off the bucket list. Kind of hypes me up. Arian L, shout out to you. Thank you so much. All right, well, that's been the Rakoto Montefar. I have no idea the history on it. I don't know where to get seeds other than the ones I say from this. So I'm sure you can find something on Google. But thank you for watching. It's been a it's been a burn, but I'll be all right. All right, bye.